ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the kindergarten couch. Say hello to our friends. Come on over, take a seat as we continue with What Would Jesus Do? Thanks again, Bear. We're up to chapter 20, facing the fire. Oh no, do you think those boys set fire to Coal Valley? Let's read and find out. Racing ahead of Bill, Claire ran along the line of people coming from Coal Valley to the church. Finally, she spotted Mr. Martin and Jack at the end of the line. Claire, Bill, what's wrong? Asked Jack as the children dashed up to him. <sighs> Three boys are going to start a fire in Cold Valley while everyone is at the picnic, said Claire. They threatened to throw us down the old mine shaft if we told anyone. Jack looked back down the road. Oh, no, he shouted. I see smoke rising above our town. Mr. Martin quickly gave orders. Jack, run to the church. Tell everyone about the fire. Bill and Claire, come with me. I must go to Coal Valley. You have to be my eyes. Jack ran up the hill while the others turned back on the road. As they hurried toward the town, Mr. Martin asked Bill, Did you tell the boys that setting fires is wrong? I should have, Mr. Martin, said Bill sadly. But... I was afraid and I ran away. Why didn't you come and talk to me? I was too scared, Bill answered. I ran all the way home instead of trying to find you. Claire, asked Mr. Martin, couldn't you tell your father? Claire hung her head. I was afraid to say anything, so I ran into the house. Rounding the bend in the road, Mr. Martin asked, what do you see now? The smoke and flames reached so high, Bill said sadly. Oh, your house must be burning too. Mr. Martin stood still. I smell the smoke and feel the heat of the flames, but now I hear the sound of crying. Is that you, children? He asked. They only sobbed. Bill and Claire, he said gently, how many times did each of you run away this week? I ran from the mean boys, answered Claire, and I kept running instead of waiting for you at the road. Then I ran away instead of telling my father. I ran away three times too, Bill said quietly. This reminds me of Peter in the Bible, said Mr. Martin. Peter turned away from Jesus three times. Then he cried. He was sorry for what he had done. Do you know what Jesus did to Peter? What? asked Bill. Claire wiped her eyes. Jesus forgave him, she said softly. Yes, said Mr. Martin, putting his arm around their shoulders. I know you are sorry for what you've done, and I know Jesus will forgive you. Mr. Martin reached out his arms and embraced them as, he, as they clung to him. I forgive you too, he said tenderly. That's what Jesus would do. Did you ever feel that you did something too bad for Jesus to forgive you? Take time right now to ask for forgiveness. 1 John 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins to God, he can always be trusted to forgive us. To learn more about Peter denying Jesus and then Jesus' response, you can read from Matthew 26 verses 31 to 35 and 69 to 75. Next, we'll read chapter 21, Fighting the Fire. Oh, no. Do you think they'll get to the coal mine town in time before the fire burns the whole town down? <gasps> Come back and find out. Have a good day.